G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to start this video from the studio at home. It was a bit of an in impromptu video in the Tommy camper. It had been stormy for a couple of days. The I'd got up early, it was about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and I was going to do some editing but I thought what I'd do instead is grab my phone because all my camera key was away so you'll need to excuse the audio on this one, it's just the phone audio um, grab the phone and do a bit of a, uh, a look at the internal part of the Tommy Camper that's what this video is about well, Day 4, Thursday it started off with a storm I'm about to do some editing until it gets light I'm not sure how well this will come out, but you can see the camper behind me. But the two flaps, the flap on this side and the flap on this side, open slightly. Just let a bit of air through. It's been raining for the last hour, hour and a half. And the, uh, the, the camper can breathe really well down this end. The rest of them are locked up. Got the fan running. It's not running at the moment because of the audio. All we can hear is the fan. So uh, I'll turn the fan off just to shoot this. That'll go back on shortly. Fan's got three speeds, low, medium, and high, and I guess for off. Um, the light here, light in the middle, the handles here for up and down. When it's time to pack up, handle on each side, just pull down, the whole thing collapses. These sides are constructed with a material that bends in, so you can see these ribs as you go around. All of those ribs, for whatever reason, the material has got a memory and it always bends in so you don't need that often strap around a lot of the, the the campers that you see which is really handy the foyer is really good uh, plenty of room down here for one person in a pinch for two people but it's it's tight but it's comfortable the bed's really comfy it's a queen size bed that's tucked in under the lips of the canopy um, so you lose a couple of inches on each side but still plenty of room for two people normal mattress a normal foam mattress on the bottom with a really good topper and then the bedding i've got the toilet under the seat in here that toilet is awesome once you get a bit older like me and you don't like getting out and get your feet wet and dirty at night time just get down here and and uh and go to the loo and get back into bed carpet on the ceiling for moisture and condensation stops that so far i've had probably how many nights now had it for three months maybe 30, 40 nights I've spent in the camper and it's been excellent. There have been zero condensation and it's rained several nights and we've stormed a few nights so we haven't had any moisture at all in the van so very happy with that. I would like to redesign down the foyer end a little bit but um, so I'm still thinking about that and I'm not sure what to do. But as you can see plenty of space um, in a pinch, easily fit two in the foyer here. We did during a storm yesterday, last night, the night before last, we had a fairly big storm and we had two sitting down here for about an hour and a half, two hours and it was fine. Still no condensation on moisture in the van, which was really good. I have seen a few campers, Tommy campers, like this one, where they've plumbed the water on the inside, so I've got a toilet inside through the night, it'd be nice just to get up and have, be able to use water on the inside of the truck so that's a, one of the thoughts the other thoughts are microwaves sticking the microwave in here just a tiny one just so I can heat up milk and uh, heat up frozen meals underneath the bed we've got a, a very large deep drawer that pulls out plenty of storage in there for clothing a little lock there locks away and I had a little table there made up so that I can sit and edit at night. So the door at the back gives us access into the storage area, the canopy and the inverter. So you saw that door there, I've ripped that out. It, it sort of was getting in the way when there was a second person in, which is when you needed it most, access to that area because you got you know, a lot of people in the thing, you didn't want to have bags and shoes and things like that laying around your feet. You wanted access, so you needed to open that door. So I ripped that door off. There was another reason, access to the inverter. 
really wanted access on a regular basis to the inverter and it was just annoying having to open and shut that door all the time because the door had to be open with, with access to the inverter because you're running leads from the inverter out into the, uh, the foyer area. One thing I haven't talked about is the seating in the Tommy Camper. The seat is advertised or promoted as a two-seater. It, it isn't. It's a one-seater. Two people sitting there and you're, you're squished. It doesn't matter even if you're tiny people. Um, you're still squished. So it really is a one-seater. What I've found, if I need to seat two people in the foyer, which we did on this trip, and we had the storms for two days, what I did was use the wolf packs. The wolf packs, great. You can sit on the wolf packs easy. And uh, I threw the wolf packs in there. That became a seat, uh, a temporary seat. And when you don't need it, it's very easy to remove the wolf packs and you've got plenty of room again in the foyer. I did speak a little bit about the um, the, the way the, the zippers work on the coverings for the windows in the Tommy. They're very good. What it does, you just fold them in on themselves as you move the zip around. You can get it to all different levels and different angles, depending on where the wind's blowing, which side you'll open, which side you'll keep shut. In a really bad storm, you want them all shut. You can shut them all and just leave little gaps in the top open. And it's so close to the little eave that's on the uh, the camp on the on the, the pop top roof that you don't get the water through and it allows the, the, the hot air on the inside generated by body heat and everything else to get out and cool air to get in and limits the amount of moisture you have on the inside of the camper. Not that moisture's been a problem, it really hasn't been a problem with the Tommy. Um, something I'm so impressed with, there's carpet on the walls, carpet on the ceiling, that stops the moisture, but we have not had a, a single drop of moisture on the inside of the camper, which probably the first time I've ever been camping on a regular basis in any form, whether it be a motorhome or a tent or a swag and had zero moisture inside the camper and it, it's awesome. The last thing I'll talk about is the lighting. The Tommy come with two internal lights, one at each end. Great for getting in and turning on, but they're both white, they're not dimmable. Um, I do use a uh, kick-ass torch inside that has amber light as well as white light. The white light has three different levels, and um, I, the, I seem to use that all the time. The reason I use that, the amber light is easier on the eyes, it doesn't make you squint, it's not too bright. You can still see everything, and it doesn't attract the bugs. So if you've got your door open, you've got less bugs in the in the camper. So one thing I would suggest to Tommy, if you watch this video, the internal lighting could be a little bit better on the roof. Have it adjustable so it can dim and also have the amber light in there. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, give me the big thumbs up, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel immensely. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.